How's that going, everybody? You're watching that about tech, and today I'm gonna teach you how to run Windows software and games on the Mac. That's right, I'm gonna teach you how to run any .exe file, so .exe files, your typical Windows software on the Mac. The coolest thing about this process is, one, it's free, two, we're not gonna use a virtual machine or anything like that, so it's super simple, no complicated setup. And three, this video, this method is updated, so it does work on Apple Silicon Macs. This Mac right here is an M1 Mac, so as you'll see, it does work on newer Macs, like M1, M2, M3, and of course, older Macs as well. So, without further ado, Let's get started. Okay, so naturally we're gonna need an app for this, and the app we're gonna use is actually this one, which is called Wine Skin. So maybe you have probably seen Wine or Wine Butler, so it's a variation of that software, but it's updated, and as I said, it runs on newer Macs, okay? So uh, right here, as you can see, we are in GitHub, so it's a free software, open source, and I'm gonna go ahead, of course, and leave uh, this link to this specific page right here in the description, okay? So you're gonna click on there and go straight to this page, right? So then, uh, let's scroll a bit down and under how to install, as you can see right here, we're gonna go for manual installation, okay? It's gonna say not recommended, but we're gonna do it step by step, okay, don't worry. So, click here on download Wine Skin Winery, so click there, and then it's gonna automatically download, and as you can see, it's a very, very small download, all right? It's a very small software. You can close that, you don't need that anymore. So let's go ahead here and bring the software right here to the desktop. So wine skin, as you can see, it's zipped, but no problem, double click on it. Uh, if you don't have an unzip uh, software for that, I do recommend to use the one I'm using right here, which as you can see is called archive utility it's free as well you can get it from the app store and you can easily zip and unzip files I, I really do like this software okay so as you can see we have here wine skin winery that's the software itself let's double click on it and install it naturally since it's a software we're downloading from the web uh, we have security for the Mac so it's gonna say this warning and all no problem you can cancel and you can open up your system settings and then you can just tap here on your search and go to security, right? Security, so security settings right here, the second option. And then we're gonna go for open anyway. So as you can see, wine skin winery, so open anyway, all right? It's probably gonna ask you for your touch ID or your Mac password, okay? Go ahead here and open, and then it's gonna open up as you can see, just like that. So it's gonna open up and that's how wine skin will look like. You can already close, of course, your system settings. You don't need that anymore. And one recommendation that I always give is always make sure that wine skin is updated because if it isn't, maybe you'll have compatibility issues. So make sure that you see here if it's updated. If it's like grayed out, as you can see right here, you can't click, can't do anything, it's updated. If you can press this button, make sure to do it, make sure to update, all right? This will make a huge difference. Right now, we're gonna need to actually install an engine, and that's what actually is gonna run our .exe file, all right? So, you're gonna press here on the plus, so we're gonna add here an engine, and as you can see, you can already select this first one that's pre-selected, but depending on when you're watching, maybe it could be different, but my recommendation is this one. So it says Windows 11, as you can see right here, 64-bit, uh, that's the one, all right? That's my recommendation right here. So it's updated, it's gonna run every single new app for Windows, great, right? So go ahead here and click on download and install, and right here, go ahead and OK. And then let it install. Please keep in mind that it's not actually gonna download and install the whole operating system. As I said, this is not a virtual machine. This is just an engine, so it's pretty small, right? So this is gonna take no time. Uh, it's just because my Wi-Fi is pretty bad here in the studio, but it's very lightweight. It's gonna install very, very fast, okay? 
So after a few seconds, here we go, the engine is installed. So we're pretty much good to go. All we need to do now is create a new blank wrapper. Okay, so go ahead here and click on this final button here, blue button, click there, and then you're gonna create the name of the wrapper. Uh, you can pretty much choose here the name of the Windows software that you're gonna open. So the name of the exe file, right? So think of this wrapper as the name of the file, okay, of the Windows file, right? Uh, I'm just gonna put here YouTube, just so you guys know is what I'm doing right now with you live, okay? So go ahead and click on OK, and then our wrapper will be created. Please keep in mind that sometimes this will happen, okay, when we're creating the wrapper. Maybe it will feel like it's unresponsive, you will see the spinning wheel, that's all normal, it's okay, take a while, all right? It's a free app, so please keep in mind that it won't be 100% perfect, right? This is uh, something that's common for the app, so let it do its thing, wait, it will work. It'll just take a while. And so, as you can see, it actually took like 30 seconds, um, it's finished. So then you can go ahead and click here on view wrapper in finder, as you can see right there, click on it, and then you will see right here the wrapper YouTube as you can see right here. My recommendation is that you actually take this and put it in your applications folder or maybe on your desktop, so where your apps are, okay? Because this will be your app, right? So I'm gonna move here to the applications folder, all right? So you can do that. And then it's gonna live right, let's look for it. Where are you? So let's scroll down. There we go, YouTube, it's alphabetical, of course. Uh, so all you have to do now is actually uh, press with your right click, right, on your mouse, and then show package content, as you can see right there. And right here, we're gonna have wineskin under the YouTube wrapper. And that's actually what we're gonna use. So double click on it. And then as you can see, we can finally, I know, it's quite a few steps, but that's the way to go, okay? And you can go ahead and install software. Before I do that, I'm just gonna close this and minimize that just so it's easier for us to see, okay? So install software so we can finally we get to the installer where we're gonna actually choose our exe file, install it, and finally we can start to use it, okay? I have right here with me on my downloads the software I'm gonna install today, which is actually 3U Tools. I don't know if you're familiar with 3U Tools, but guys, it's one of the best software, the best tools to actually do anything on your iPhone. I have presented this software here on the channel many times. There are new videos on 3U Tools on, for example, how to check if your iPhone has any fake parts. Like for example, if your battery is fake, if your screen, if your camera, if they were replaced or anything like that. 3U Tools is the only way you can actually check that. And the thing is, 3U Tools is only available for Windows, for PC. So that's why I chose this example because it's a very, very interesting showcase of, of course, our wine skin, okay? So let's go ahead and install 3U Tools. So on our installer right here, choose Setup Executable, right? And then go ahead here to Desktop, as you can see, and then we have 3U Tools, go ahead and choose, and then it's gonna start the installation process. You'll see that it's actually an installation process, as you can see, as if we're doing this on a PC. So I agree, let's install, and as you can see, we're doing all that without a virtual machine, as if it's a native Mac application, so cool. And so, as you can see, in just a few seconds, we're good to go, installation is done, we can go ahead and click on launch, and it's gonna go ahead and open up 3U tools in this example, but of course, any other exe file. As you can see, there we go, we have 3U tools, fully functional, as you can see, even the buttons, right, are Windows buttons and everything like that, so it works really, really perfectly. Of course, in this specific example, if you want to use 3U tools on your PC, you also need to install iTunes, so you can use actually uh, Wineskin to install the Windows version of iTunes because it's required. So just an example, but of course this is specific 
two, three U tools. So as you can see, it's fully functional, it's working, everything is ready. So the next time you wanna actually open three U tools, you don't need to install it again, right? Uh, the app is there, that app that we have created in the applications folder. So let me show you. I can actually close three U tools right here. I can actually go ahead here and exit three U tools. So it's all exit. We don't have it anymore. And after a few seconds, that's what you see for this very first time of setting up, okay? So after uh, you install any app, any software using WineScan, it's always gonna ask you to choose the executable file, as you can see right here, because generally it can't figure out on its own. And it's super easy to do that. All you have to do is click here, it's gonna show you a bunch of options, but the option that you want is the option that says, the name of the software, the name of the exe file dot exe. So for example, we're using 3U tools, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the correct file. As you can see, that's the one. It's gonna end with the name of the software dot exe. So C, program files, just like Windows, right? 3U tools, and then x86, 3utools.exe. It has to be this one. All the other ones are not the executable file. Okay, so click there, click on OK, and finally we're done. So we have set up, installed everything, and now we can just open up 3utools or any other software as you can see normally. Let me show you. So I'm gonna close everything, quit everything, quit, 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 so I don't have anything opened, right? Everything is closed. And then, of course, all I have to do is open up my Finder and then my Applications, because I put in the Applications folder, remember? And I have here YouTube, that's the name I put. So then I have to double click on it, wait, just wait a few seconds, it's gonna boot up. And then, as you can see, there we go, 3 new tools. So as you just saw, it didn't reinstall the software or anything like that, it just opened it up because it's already installed, working, functional 100%. Okay, so as you can see, we have here three little tools, fully functional, working, perfect, all right? Now, please keep in mind that as I mentioned before, uh, Wineskin is a free software, uh, it's open source, so there's no big company behind it or anything like that, so please expect some bugs, some small issues, uh, sometimes it's not gonna work 100%, and for some specific apps, some specific exe files, it may not work, and I'm already letting you know, but the thing is, you have nothing to lose, right? It's free, and uh, it's the best way to actually do it, okay? So that's my recommendation, do this, try WineScan, and if you can't install any software for some reason, then I would recommend you to install a virtual machine, okay? So uh, you have a direct link right here and in the description, I have videos on the channel teaching you how to install a virtual machine, how to run full Windows on your Mac, okay? That's an alternative, of course, and please go ahead and try this first. That's my recommendation. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next videos with you guys. Bye-bye.